So without proper metabolism of them, we're losing um, energy because they break down everything into glucose or sugar. And we do need sugar, right? Yeah. We do that kind of sugar. Uh, the cells need it for fuel. Uh, so that's kind of the gas in our engine. You know, sometimes people go without any carbohydrates. Oh, and, right? Did we they, speak about this or something? You're, you're at, this is exactly what I tell people every single day. I love this topic the most. Super convenient and easy to use. So we love the packets because people can bring them with them. They're not going to have to have water or anything else. They taste great. But I will mention, um, and they also come in a box, so you can buy them individually. If you love them, then recommend buying the box. Welcome everybody to the Healthy Habit Podcast. You Theory is back in the building here. We're talking with Joyce Moran, who has 18 years of experience in sales and education in the natural products industry. The last six years, she's been employed at U-Theory with a focus on training and innovation. And Joyce is a certified health coach from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. Joyce, I'm excited to talk to you today. Welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here with you. It's our monthly check-in here with You Theory. I'm personally taking the Sheila Jeet right now of You Theory because of you. In a few episodes back, you really motivated me to get that back in to my routine. Tons of evidence on Sheila Jeet. Maybe we'll hit on it towards the end of today, just as like a little sneak peek or a recap on Sheila Jeet. But uh, let's start with the B12, B6 liquids. From your point of view, why are B vitamins important in general? Then we can go on the specific product. Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's start with B12. I'm gonna divide this into two pieces because they're two very specifically different vitamins, although they kind of somewhat support the same systems in your body. Um, we know B12 is a water soluble vitamin. It's called cobalamin. Um, it's right. most comes from you know dairy, red meat and eggs. So it's, it's super important to your body for many reasons, but I want to say it's one of the most common deficiencies, which is um, obviously anyone who's not eating red meat um, or dairy or eggs. So mostly vegans and vegetarians are at a super high risk of not getting enough of it every day. We also know people that are like taking antibiotics on a regular basis or have digestive disorders, maybe on proton pump inhibitors, for those reasons, and as we age, um, unfortunately, like most things, it depletes in your body. So it does it does some critical things. One of the things is it's a powerful, what we'd call a neural compound. Obviously neural has to do with our brain and helps with like the production and synthesis of what we call neurotransmitters. And you know, neurotransmitters are these chemical messengers. Uh, they transmit all the signals between our nerve cells, whether it's in our brain or other parts of our nervous system. So it plays a very crucial role in that and in the communication of that. It also, um, certain neurotransmitters have specific functions. So some of the ones um, in, impact mood, some impact cognition, some impact memory some impact just physical sensation. So they have a, they're really important that we have enough of them uh, that they're, I would say, um, I would like to think of the right word right now, but that they're communicating that they're there, that they're communicating well for right. us to have um, proper brain function. So, and especially things like serotonin and dopamine and GABA, which are all very relative to our brain function. Um, they do show also people that have lower levels of B12 um, and they take B12, it really can help with their mood. So people with an existing deficiency, we really see benefits. Right. The other really, two other really critical benefits of B12 is it helps to the de it helps in the development and maintenance of red blood cells, as well as oh. the nerve cells, which I just talked about, and then the covering of the nerve cells. So it just helps your cells, especially we're, let's talk about your red blood cells in the formation of them. And it's very important because if you don't have healthy red blood cells, we're not able to really transport oxygen very right. effectively from our lungs to all our tissues and therefore ourselves. So with that, we're gonna have lower levels of energy 
Uh, we might feel fatigue. We might feel weakness. Uh, we might have trouble breathing, you know, from just not having enough of that. And we need it for respiratory. So that's super important. And then last but not least, it plays a key role in, you know, metabolism of our macronutrients, specifically carbohydrates and fatty acids or fats. And we know we need these things broken down. You know, carbohydrates are our main energy source in our body. So without proper metabolism of them, we're losing um, energy because they break down everything into glucose or sugar. And we do need sugar, right? Yeah. We do that kind of sugar. Uh, the cells need it for fuel. Uh, so that's kind of the gas in our engine. You know, sometimes people go without any carbohydrates. Oh, and then they right did we Thanks. speak about this or something you're you're at this is exactly what i tell people every single day i love this topic the most how necessary like, carbs are yeah say i'd love to hear what you're yeah what i mean I, well people think you can just run on ketones forever with the ketogenic diet and extremely low carbs but yeah you can but it's extremely stressful long term than using glucose and sugar which mm -hmm. is the best possible fuel for the cells like the most efficient and so I don't know. There's a deep conspiracy that I think exists to get us off carbs and sugar so that we're sicker long term and more tired and depressed and the hair starts falling out and the thyroid starts slowing down and all these different issues. So but I'm just glad you mentioned that. That's you nailed it. Yeah, that's the preferred fuel source for the body is glucose. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And, and frankly, I've tried keto at some points, not very effectively, but right notice a difference in your brain function right away so to me we really need it to fuel we we need that we absolutely do and then it also helps to break down um you know fatty acids which we also after the carbs we're going to use those as well as protein for fuel so those again are why we need b12 um, um why it's so important for our bodies absolutely and you see people elderly uh, the, a lot of them are B12 deficient, the elderly population, and a lot of them are tired, and it's harder for them to build muscle mass, frail, they're more on the frail side, so and they're anemic, especially because they're low in these B vitamins, B12 especially, so they're not going to be delivering oxygen as well to the brain and to the muscles like you mentioned, so would that make sense? Because it's, it's critical for building blood. Oh, absolutely. And there was a study, just one study, but it, or maybe it was just like an overall study, you know, to assess more like a survey. But there's right. say over 20 percent of the population over 60, both in the UK and the US, are deficient in B12. And so it's really important for younger people, but also that much more important as you age um, so, to have B12. Amazing. Yeah. And there's these little liquid packets they each come in about one ounce. The B12, B6 liquids through you theory. It's in a pink label like that. Uh, I can kind of see it, but you can even see it behind Joyce there, which you also have in tablet format. So let's talk about this product a little bit. Sure. So you guys have the liquids there, which are amazing. Um, what we have is B12 and B6. So the B12 in there really, again, is what in there for the reasons that we talked about and we're using the methocobalamin form and methocobalamin is the preferred form that's most absorbable by your body so in other formats you may not be able to absorb it so it's really important with anything when you're taking a vitamin or a supplement that those ingredients those uh, raw materials that that whatever it is that's in the formulation actually can get into your body um, so we have a thousand micro, a uh, thousand milligrams, I'm sorry, of B12, vitamin B12 is methylcobalamin. And then we have 30 milligrams of vitamin B6 and the vitamin B6 in there, it's also going to help with um, carbohydrate, fat, protein metabolism and breaking down foods for energy. Um, it also has a direct impact on homocysteine levels and homocysteine levels, as you know, homocysteine is an amino acid and having high levels of homocysteine is kind of sometimes um, more associated with people with um, things like incidence of dementia and Alzheimer's right. disease. So in there, getting these two things together, they're working on the neurotransmitters, the red blood cells, energy, uh, breakdown of everything, um, of all your macronutrients. And in the packets, 
a delicious raspberry flavor, <laughs> yeah. um, which is great. Less than one gram of sugar and super convenient and easy to use. So we love the packets because people can bring them with them. They're not going to have to have water or anything else. They taste great. But I will mention, um, and they also come in a box, so you can buy them individually. If you love them, then recommend buying the box. Uh, it's a, and you know, we here we have it B12, B6 on the go, which mm -hmm. is, is great, really good for people on the go and a great combination together. Uh, but we do also have them in the capsule form and the gummy form, which is coming out um, that you can purchase off our site, or you can make that request at Healthy Habits and they can order it in for you um, so that you can buy it at your local store and support them. U theory B12 B6 is a combination of essential nutrients that support the proper metabolism of DNA, proteins, carbs, and fats. As Joyce was mentioning, we literally have to have these B vitamins to convert the food we eat into energy on a cellular level. Uh, so you can see as, as people get older or different people that don't eat the right foods in general, like high caloric foods that are depleted in, in B vitamins, uh, they're having trouble with energy production, and that's when the obesity can kick in and low muscle mass uh, and all these other issues. So as Joyce was mentioning, we have a gummy version coming on the way, so we'll keep you everybody posted on that. Here's the capsule version, but we also have the liquid. So how come just these two were chosen? I mean, they're probably the two most important, if not, yeah, I mean, you can easily make a case for why B6 and 12 are the most important, but... Tell us a little bit how, how we narrowed it down to those two. That's a great question. Maybe because there are a decent amount of other B6, you know, B complex right. vitamins, like one of my favorites from Emerald Labs that I know you got these have there. You have the B healthy complex yeah. um, that also includes these, but we just, you know, we just formulated it with these two. Um probably because of their importance and making sure that people can make sure that they're getting these on a daily basis. Absolutely. Makes sense. And then, by the way, we're going to dive into the K2D3 version as well. That also has the liquid packets, just like the B12, B6. And so does the ashwagandha. That might be the first little liquid packet like this I've seen for ashwagandha. Usually it's in capsules, tablets, or maybe tea, but tinctures as well. So that, that's unique as well that, that exists, that option. So I wanted to touch on the organic cane sugar in this product. This is the B12, B6 liquid mm -hmm. through you theory. This isn't the type of sugar that, that's causing this national epidemic in diabetes. That's, I just want to leave that there. Uh, people are not getting morbidly obese, overweight, and diabetic because of this little pinch of cane sugar that's found in, in this supplement through you theory. So do you have anything you want to add to that, Joyce? No, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I appreciate you bringing that out. <laughs> a lot of people think they want to use all these other things and that will be better for them. But absolutely, it's a very small amount just for, you know, really just for the flavor. It's it's one gram of sugar. Um, in our collagen liquids, there's zero sugar. Ashwagandha, I think it has less than one gram as well. So yeah. K2D3. I actually want that in there as opposed to other ones that are high in FODMAPs and that that actually have no calories at all because cane sugar is the original version. Uh, that's the original sweetener that our body actually has used through history. You know, that's that's the same sugar that's found in fruit, actually, cane sugar. It's as if you took the sugar out of strawberries and put it in this product. So uh, that's the U-Theory B12, B6. And everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Joyce Moran discussing uh, the difference between, uh, well, the importance of B vitamins. And then now we're gonna be transitioning here to K2, D3. And maybe we can start off from a bird's eye view, Joyce. Why is it good to, comb to do a combination of these two in one supplement, the K2 and the D3 specifically? Yeah, I love how you pointed that out. So K2 and D3 work very synergistically together, um, especially supporting cardiovascular health and bone health. Yeah. We know that everyone knows D3, the sunshine vitamin, it's in the colocalciferol form. We know that we need that. People think about it for immune benefits, right? Right. They don't really think about it for bone benefits or cardiovascular benefits. But um, 
what happens is D3 um, in your system. So as you as you take D3 and then you have calcium, people uh, have always been told take more calcium for your bones. Take yeah. more for your bones, right? And what happens is we have this free floating calcium, and without calcium, without D3, what D3 does is it takes it out of your intestinal tract, and then it can, and then it brings the K2 goes in there. Um, and is able to interact with that um, through a certain process. And then it brings it into your bones. So yeah. you need all that in order to take place within um, within your, in, for your cardiovascular system, I'm sorry, and for your bone health. Because otherwise calcium is gonna become, what happens without the D3 and the K2, it just, again, it's free floating. It'll end up in your arteries as plaque and it can it can form things caused um arterial sclerosis or just arterial plaque and i right. think you right on that google scholar thing there about it really both of those vitamins are very important for calcium what we call homeostasis so if we want the right calcium in our body and not the wrong calcium in the wrong parts of our body we need to take both of them together Right. And you can see here per one liquid packet, you're getting 100 micrograms of K2, 83% of your daily value. So two packets will put you right there at about 166% of what you need for the day. Maybe you do one and a half, right? But that's right where the research says is where vitamin K2 is necessary to protect the cardiovascular system. Right here, you can see from open heart from the BMJ that Vitamin K2 is a neglected, and sorry, I just butchered that word, a neglected player in cardiovascular health. This is a narrative review, a uh, pretty recent study actually, on how important it is. It's, it's not talked about by a lot of physicians. It's a neglected player. And then in the study, they mentioned how it's strongly associated with improved cardiovascular health. And then it talks about how, just like Joyce was mentioning here, it regulates calcium homeostasis. So instead of allowing that calcium to build up in the arteries, we're taking it out and putting it where it needs to go, correct? Absolutely. And without the D3 there. So that that's the key thing because people didn't really know about K2. Yeah. Uh, you know, the K2 uh, that we're using is the Menacunon, uh 7, mm -hmm. and it's a nano form. And that's naturally found in food. So if you're eating those foods, you were probably getting that anyway. But in this in the American diet, we're not doing tons of fermented foods. or not eating a lot of natto unless yeah. the Asian populations are. So when it came to the U.S. and there was this realization that we're going to take D3 for our immune system, they weren't really putting it with bone health necessarily and then we're going to take a bunch of calcium and then we, none of those things are going to have the impact they need to help our cardiovascular health or our bone health yeah so for both of them so again this is u theory k2 d3 provides the essential nutrients that enable the body to properly use calcium just like i showed you in the study there also known as calcium homeostasis there needs to be a proper control of calcium in the arteries and the veins and the whole cardiovascular system and then vitamin d again is also a heavy player in calcium homeostasis with k2 and you can see this this is fascinating right here this study from uh integrative medicine journal and you can see right here's the pubmed link if you want to search that up later you just do highlighting the substantial body of evidence confirming the importance of vitamin k2 for cardio support and then down here they say why vitamin k2 matters the most okay so this is mk7 it's a type of k2 like joyce just mentioned a few moments ago the menaquinones okay and then you can look so this study just told us it's the most important for the heart and then we go here to you theory and let's see what form of k2 and it, it's the M mk7 that m menaquinone 7 that we just saw is the most important in the study so do you want to add anything to that this is the proper form um, just the other thing about the MK7 form is one of the things it's it's exactly, you know, again, it's coming from NATO. It's exactly how it's formed in nature. Right. So it's more absorbable, but it also stays in your system longer. So your body, as opposed to like an MK4, that's going to go in your body shorter. So you might see a supplement that has MK4, but the MK7 stays in there longer. And then so it's like a reserve. 
So it's going to be in there. So these processes can take place on a daily basis and you're not going to run out and you're not going to have an overage either because you're doing that whole calcium homeostasis. Your body is balancing it all out. Right. And I like that you maybe you will need only one or two of these capsules per day because you're getting 5,000 IUs of the vitamin D3 in there. So a lot of D3K2 products only give you about 1,000 or 2,000 IUs of D3, right, Joyce? Absolutely. And we really find, you know, again, we're not, it's not an immune supporting, it is an immune supporting dose. We're not yeah. mean this as an immune supporting, but we would highly recommend as you would, I'm sure the 5,000 I use as a daily dose for D3 is a really important dose. It's, it's an effective dose and it is higher than you may see in other formulations. And then another quick recap, the vitamin K2, it's in the menaquinone 7 form, which according to this paper and many others, vitamin K2 as MK7 matters the most when it comes to cardio health. And what does this mean, K2 vital? Is that just the patented form, trademark version of it? K2 vital. Exactly. It's the patented version. And again, we use at U Theory as much as we can. We use clinically studied ingredients. I will say in this particular case, K2 vital is like the the premium, it's 99% standardized and pure, but MK7 in its regular form is also a really good option as well. So Amazing. So again, K2, D3, the importance of getting enough B vitamins in your diet for not just energy. A lot of people, when they hear B vitamins, they think it just, it just energizes you. Yeah, but how? Okay, it's part of it, but also brain health. You need it for the skin. A lot of people, they're deficient in B vitamins. They start getting rashes and eczema and s different skin breakouts. Have you ever noticed anything like that, Joyce? I haven't, but that's yeah. really interesting. That's really interesting. I didn't know what how much of an impact it has on skin health. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And like you mentioned, we need the B vitamins to take the food that we eat and whatever we drink and turn that into usable energy from our cells. So... A good way to do that would be the liquid, potentially. It's the quickest. What do you think people like most when it comes to U-Theory products, the liquids, the powders, or the capsules? Mm, that's a really great question. Yeah, everyone's different? Depends on the product. People are different. Yeah. We know gummies right now are super huge in the industry. People like them. They're easy. But one thing that's really nice about the liquids is even though they they taste great. They're convenient. You can carry them with you. They're not melting or anything. But one thing that I would also like to say, so if you do have any listeners and they're an elderly population and they don't want to swallow anything, but they may not want to drink this on it, their own and they like to have maybe a little orange juice or cranberry juice or whatever they like right. to, you can mix it right in there and you're obviously getting all those same benefits um, in it. So it's just another way that people can take it. Um, for people that may not want to be taking any vitamins. Amazing. Know? And then when it comes to the D3K2, do you personally, when you use that, do you do one capsule, two a day? Is it one more, most common to take one of those? The cat In the capsule form, it's one a day. Yes, I just take one a day. And in the liquid, I just do one a day. But after what you just said, maybe we want higher levels, um, a little bit higher of the K2. It's good to get the vitamin D levels checked in the blood. You know, a lot of people that come to us, they have never actually checked their vitamin D in the blood, or it's been at least three plus years. Have you ever checked your vitamin D levels in the blood, Joyce? I have. Yes. Absolutely. I do. I do have it done by a naturopathic physician. Yes. And it definitely supplements work when it comes to that and sunlight. Those are two good combos, getting out in the sun more and taking maybe one D3 capsule a day. There's tons of research on it at this point. Absolutely. And, you know, we've got all these people, though, they don't want to, well, it's hot as Hades right now, around yeah. there, right? so they're not wanting to sit out in the sun. But, you know, that's why they always say or they recommend don't put any sunscreen on for like the first 15 minutes, because that actually, you know, in order to get the sun and become the D3 and in, in, into your body, you have to not be blocking it, getting into your skin. Right. And even sunglasses, they even say sunglasses will block um, that absorption. Oh, so it's great to take it on a daily basis as well. Perfect. And coming into the last two minutes or so, do you want to give a little sneak peek on Sheila Jeet? We've discussed it in previous episodes, but people need reminders. I need reminders. I, I forgot about Sheila Jeet until I had you on. You reminded me of how great it is. So give us a little sneak peek on Sheila Jeet and then we'll wrap her up for today. 
Okay, so Sheila G um, is an are it's it's a mineral pitch. It comes from the Himalayan mountains. It is um, a really rich adaptogenic adaptogenic superfood. It's so many benefits. It's hard to say, but um, we're using the clinically studied form of Prima V. So it's super clean. We want to make sure there aren't any levels of heavy metals in it. And the benefits to people are, you know, for for everything. <laughs> There's so many things. Yeah. It works as an adaptogen. It helps to absorb or, or it's a carrier or vehicle of bringing nutrients into your cells. It increases. Uh, so we have increased, we have clinical studies on it for men um, with increases in sperm count and testosterone levels. So for people you know, looking to have children that are, that are deal with sperm issues. I think it's called a lignia, a lignia. I'm sure you could say it's spermia or something yeah. that have low levels of, of sperm, or they need higher levels of testosterone for muscle building or just energy. It increases um, absorption of CoQ10 and the increase in um, ATP in your mitochondria. So it gives you cellular energy. It also, if yeah, fulvic acid has very um, high levels uh, and it's standardized in this particular formula to over 50%, high levels of iron. Um, so it's great if people have low iron levels and they're looking to help bring up, build their iron levels in their body. I could see how the B12 beautiful. goes together. Right. So. That's a great intro and recap reminder of shilajit it's an herb right well it's, i guess it's not an herb it's actual volcanic ash like mineral collection concentrated mineral substance really and this is different from the uh, d3k2 and the b12 b6 product because those are actual essential vitamins and minerals that we need in the body this is more of like a different type of substance that we use it to support our body health right whereas the other two that we discussed today we can't function without them, right? So thanks for the reminder there. And thanks for your time today, Joyce. Perfect place to end it there. And I look forward to our next talk. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Dehan. Have a great day. You too.